What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Lockout Men Podcast Show. I am your humble host, Lockout Men. That's what it is, what it is. So shout out to my guy, Melly Mel, from TikTok. He sent me this video that is going super viral for all the wrong reasons. Here it is. Now, before we get into the video, I just want to say that this particular TikToker right here has a whole page of just being disrespectful to truck drivers. And I am definitely going to take advantage of this content. But in any case, this particular video right here has been taken down. <laughs> I don't know if TikTok took it down or he took it down but as i went back to look for the video it is nowhere to be found on his page but he do have an abundance of videos dissing truck drivers that we will be getting into in future episodes i don't hate truckers i just hate the ones that are fucking so entitled that they say shit like uh, without truckers you would be fucking hungry and fucking homeless and naked which is not true at all we'd still have fucking clothes we'd still get food and we'd still be in our fucking homes and in fact truckers have nothing to do with that so no my issue isn't with truckers it's with the entitled assholes who think they are entitled and think that they do a bunch of work when in fact all they do is sit on their fucking ass and drive from point a to point b they might have to get out and fucking, you know, crank down the fucking legs of the trailer or hook up some airlines. But that's about fucking it, man. They don't fucking do shit. Except for sit on their ass and complain about everything else in the fucking country. Alright, with that said, I was going to do a reaction video, which I am still am. Well, I'm doing it now. That's what's up. And I'm on camera. That's what's going on. We are here at the loves out here in texas and what i'm gonna do right now is go around and get these real truckers reaction to this guy to this guy all right let's see what real truckers got to say about this dude my name's lockout man there's a I'll say civilian, let's call him that. Talking mad disrespectful about truck drivers right now. I got the video. I want you to check it out and I want to get your reaction on it. That's cool? What's your, what, what's your reaction, bro? I believe, I don't know, I think he's wrestling with some internal issues, but we do more than that. Mm -hmm. We gotta watch out for people trying to sue the companies. We gotta watch out for people out here that got dark clothing on, that basically don't have visibility on them, you know. There's a lot of stuff that truckers go through. Stress, a lot of stress. It's not that we just holding the steering wheel and get out and uncrank the, uh, uh, crankshaft there's a lot that go into it that a lot of people when they see us basically bagged up into a dock they think oh those got no there's there's a lot we got to deal with brokers we got to deal with employees there's a we got to deal with people in dispatch themselves you know there's a lot of stuff that we have to deal with so there's a lot of people they unhappy with truckers they don't like us but what we do we provide a service for everybody when you go into walmart HEV, you know, buying food, buying clothes, everything come by truck. We got to drive in bad weather. I drove all the way from Brenham to Dallas and back, you know, it's like bad weather, snow, ice. You know, I'm talking about that's a lot of stuff to pay attention to the road. Other drivers driving on your blind side. So I don't know what's going on with, uh, you know, but we are brotherhood out here, believe it or not. Without truckers, you would be fucking hungry. Who is this guy? 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 Who
this guy. Think that they do a bunch of work when in fact all they do is sit on their fucking ass and drive from point A to point B. Okay. They might have to get out and fucking, you know, crank down the fucking legs of the trailer or hook up some airlines. That's about fucking it. He doesn't, he doesn't have a clue what he's talking about. He's full of, he's full of crap. So if you was to see this man in person, what would you say to I'd him? I'd say come ride with me for about three hours. <laughs> come on this load with me. You see that I'm not only sitting on my ass. So you, come, you come with me to these stores uh, that I'm dropping off supplies. You know, all the stuff I'm dropping off at Home Depot where you're going to get your shit from. It gets there by, by truckers. It's not brought there by the mailman. It's brought there by us. He says that he says that it's he can still get it. It it he's still wearing the clothes. He's still living in his house. He's still getting his food. Okay. If, if, the, if the truck is just shut down, he's not gonna have nothing. No. How do you think lumber gets to the, uh, to the stores? Look at the housing market. The housing market slowed down now because of uh, getting lumber moved around. No, look at how everybody's short-handed. No, nobody wants to work. Mm. No, we want to work. We're out here working. We're out here doing our job. Assholes who think they are entitled and think that they do a bunch of work. When in fact, all they do is sit on their fucking ass and drive from point A to point B. They might have to get out and flip, you know, crank down the fucking legs of the trailer or hook up some airlines. That's all fucking it. What's your thoughts? Man. Woo! What's your thoughts, my J? Obviously, man, he don't know. He just ignorant to the point to where to where he don't he don't really know. Well, you gen any time that you generalize truck drivers like that, not every truck driver is unprofessional. Not every truck driver is uncourteous and so fucked on, so fucked on. That is the most ignorant statement, I, you know, and not just him, but like many others can make. He can just shut up. Now, he's sitting in his car, yeah. enjoying the drive. Right. Gas prices is uh, is is monster right now, right? Right. Right. Who brings the gas to the gas station? Truck drivers. Who? Truck drivers. How is he driving his car without no? I mean, with gas in his car? Truck driver. You know, it's obviously it's obviously, dude. You know, I don't know if he's having if, if he's having you know such a bad day or whatnot or so forth on. But come on now, man. Now, if you was to see him in person, what would you say to him? I'll tell him, hey, look, you know, now they were truck drivers bad. You just, just like, just like, like any, any, any human being that, that actually live, live in this world, that's good, that's bad, but you cannot generalize everybody. It doesn't work that way. You can't, you can't generalize every truck driver. things to come in on trains. We ship things by train, truck, and air. That's the only way we're gonna do it. So if you say you don't need truckers, then you don't need trains. If you say you don't need trains, you don't need ships. That's another one, that's four. And then if you don't need ships, then you don't need air. So for him to say that, he really obviously don't know. It's, it would be different. We probably wouldn't need those things if we all had our own farm and we had to operate off of that, but we don't. Whether you buy a truck, no matter what you do, we transfer these goods to people so they can have a better life, you know? And that, provide for our family as well. Because every, you know, like I say, every truck driver is not bad. Like me, you know, I do pretty much what I can out here to, you know, to not only like pretty much keep, keep myself safe, but to keep everybody else safe. Mm. You know, be courteous to other. You know, even though sometimes or whatever, you know, when you when you dealing with even people, you know, regular civilians like this right here, like this, can I go ahead? <laughs> yeah, you you go like ahead. This asshole, <laughs> or whatever, you know. But, but you try to be patient. But you see, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff that we go through out here, 
on a day-to-day -day basis or whatever, you know what I'm saying, with, with, you know, like I say, with people being uncourteous to us or whatever. All I can say is, I can say, how dare you, how dare you say, say the stuff that he said about us. They say shit like, without truckers, you would be fucking hungry and fucking homeless and naked, which is not true at all. We'd still have fucking clothes, we'd still get food, and we'd still be in our fucking homes. Hey, without us, you won't have it. <laughs> <laughs> Point blank. <laughs> without us, you won't have it. reaction without that that man talking like that I'm a veteran mm -hmm. I'm a truck driver mm -hmm. and without us they wouldn't have no no food mm -hmm. no no materials mm -hmm. to the grocery stores or anything mm -hmm. so that man sick in the head so, so he's, he's ignorant he says that uh he says that he still got his clothes he say he's still get, he's still he driving get, in his where, car. Where did he get his clothes from? Mm. Because if he got his clothes from Walmart, he say he's he, still eating. If he get it, if he's eating, where did he get his food from? Mm. And how did his food get to the location that it was at? So it's you know that's just an ignorant person that's talking. Probably upset because he probably failed at trouble. And you know, so. if you was to see him in person. Mm -hmm. What would you say to him that would that should change his mind? I would say, listen, sir. We might sit on our asses, but truck driving, people sit in their office. They got to do their job to get our loads where we're going to go. They get tired. I get tired sitting down. I said, now you think that you do construction? I don't know what he does, but whatever he does is wrong. So far, woo, so far real truckers is out here telling the real deal. You know what I'm saying? We just don't sit on our asses. We don't just drive from point A to point B. You know what I'm saying? We do damn things. We take things serious. Serious business out here in the trucking world. Look, right here, this is people. These are drivers that are away from their homes. They are away from their families. Getting the products to you sitting in the car. You enjoying that car, right? You enjoying that car. You enjoy getting in the car, driving up and down the street. But you also talking mad gibberish, my G, because that gas that you put in the car that is skyrocketed to $7.99? You enjoying that? Who brings that? Who brings it? Truck drivers. All right, let's get back at it. What's your reaction on it? My reaction, I think he's a fucking asshole. So, if you was to see this young man in person, what would you say to him that would make him change his mind about how you feel about it? Here's my key. Drive them motherfuckers. That's what's up.
knows nothing. If it wasn't for trucks, he wouldn't have nothing. Everything you buy in this world comes to you on a truck. It leaves a ship, it goes to a truck. It leaves a train, it goes to a truck. It leaves a plane, it goes to a truck. Who delivers it? Us. We gotta wait in long ass lines. We get high fines for bullshit. We don't get any, uh, I can't take a defensive driving class. You know, I can't get, if I get a ticket in my vehicle, I don't get that break that everybody else gets. So yeah, he's an asshole, he knows nothing. <laughs> if you was to see this young man in person. Uh-huh, I would school him. I would school him on what he don't know, what he think he knows. How would you school him? I would I, I let him know what all it is about. I tell him what trucking is about, I tell him what truckers do. We stay away from our families, and that's the biggest thing. Truck drivers have the biggest divorce rates. You know, we ain't there with our kids, raising our kids, because we out here delivering shit for other people. Really, we the top dogs of the world. Yeah, I don't feel that I'm entitled, but my job is more dangerous. My job, hey, it's more dangerous being a police officer in my point of view, in my point of view. Because if I go out here and make an accident and kill somebody, that's my license, that's my freedom. I go to jail. A police officer got a union behind them, gonna keep them out when they do do accidents. So. I would school him. You know, you made you just made a good point there yep. about police officers being in unions and they got they they got a union backing them. Right. But us truck drivers out here, we don't. We don't have nobody. I mean this I mean it's only a handful, maybe yeah. a handful, but yeah. not for all of us. Right. Do, do you do you think with a union behind us, would this industry be a lot better? I doubt it because the union is the union that we would have behind us would sell us out. See there? See that? See that, bro? Everything, everything is moved by a truck, my G. Everything, cars, trains, even, even trains are moved by trucks, my man. Boats, boats is even moved by trucks. The parts to fix the trucks, the boats, the trains, the airplanes. I see that plane being moved, G. Those big windmills down in Texas. Those are being moved by trucks, my man. Yo, let me tell you something, my G. Construction vehicles is moved by a truck. Everything, logistics, is moved by truck, man. Look at all of us. Look at all of us out here. These are guys with families. That's not even at home, bro. We're sacrificing for you to enjoy making that bullshit ass TikTok. I don't hate truckers. I just hate the ones that are fucking so entitled that they say shit like uh, Without truckers you would be fucking hungry and fucking homeless and naked Which is not true at all We'd still have fucking clothes, we'd still get food, and we'd still be in our fucking homes and In fact truckers have nothing to do with that So no, my issue isn't with truckers It's with the entitled assholes who think they are entitled And think that they do a bunch of work when in fact all they do is sit on their fucking ass and drive from point A to point B. They might have to get out and fucking, you know, crank down the fucking legs of the trailer or hook up some airlines. But that's about fucking it, man. They don't fucking do shit. Except for sit on their ass and complain about everything else in the fucking country. Let me ask you a question, man. If social media wasn't available to you, who would you be spewing all this shit to, bro? Social media has changed everybody, man. It made everybody such inhuman people, man. I mean, here you are sitting in the sitting in the comfort of your car talking about truck drivers and and how entitled we are. I mean, let's think about that for a minute. Shouldn't we be? I mean, look at here, man, look. This whole parking lot is filled 
Will trucks, will truckers spending their meals, their food, they could be, we could be doing something else, bruh. I could be at home hitting them cheeks. But no, I am out here moving freight so that you can enjoy. So don't just sit there and spew all your shit, my G. All right? Because real truckers with real feelings have real reactions to this video. Now, you guys know who I am. I'm Lockout Man from the Lockout Man Podcast Show. And if you like this video, man, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. But this man has a whole channel of dissing truck drivers. So what I want to say to you, bruh, thanks for the content. Because I will be coming back with another video from the bullshit that this man be saying.